In this video, I would like to quickly explain the theoretical concept behind what I tried to prove to you algebraically in the previous video, where I showed why the average product and the marginal product fall after a given level of quantity of labor employed. And that theory in economics is called the law of diminishing returns. So the law of diminishing returns claims that the more we employ a certain type of factor, the less productive it becomes. And in my example, with the apples and the employees, the reason being was that they become less efficient at harvesting the apples because there's only so much apples that can be produced on the fixed input of land. And therefore, with every additional employee, there's going to be less and less apples harvested by each worker. So therefore, the marginal product, the additional production for every additional worker starts falling beyond a certain point, which is called the diminishing marginal returns. And with the same logic, we saw algebraically that after the average product and marginal product intersect and the marginal product is decreasing, then as a result of that, the average production will start falling as well. The average product will start falling as well because of the diminishing returns. So that's called the diminishing average returns. Anyway, this was just a theoretical explanation behind this graph, behind the algebra we did on this graph. And these are the two concepts that I would like you to remember the diminishing marginal returns and the diminishing average returns. I hope this all makes sense. I appreciate you all watching. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe and we are done.